Hi auction fans, it's Jim with Blue Box Auction Gallery. I'm here today to talk about our Estate Treasures 33 auction, which is coming up August 21st. It's an online only auction. You can bid on our website, but more importantly, you can download our app and bid directly through the app. It gives you notifications. It really is an easy to navigate option and very good tool to use. This auction has a whole assortment of things to consider for an auction. Specifically today, we're going to talk about the influences of Asian art. Where did they come from? How did it get there? How's it changed over the years? Here's some great things to look at. Let's see. So historically, a lot of influences came through trade and through travel. And thinking back to the Silk Road and the trade that happened along that Silk Road, that's where a lot of influences would get traded around the globe. Today, with the emergence of the internet and sharing through social media, and those avenues, it's really changed. It's really given artists a, a new way and a new time frame to get access to inspiration and ideas. That's been pretty incredible. But over the years, Asian art takes many forms and through many different mediums. There's paintings, there's sculptures, ceramics, architecture. Sometimes it, calligraphy would be a portion of it or an art piece by itself. Since Asia is a diverse continent with such a rich and long history, the artwork reflects the unified culture that is spread out among its individual countries. There are many key elements to look for when determining whether an art piece has an Asian influence or otherwise. Subject matter is a great indicator of the influence. Asian artists usually depict a place or an animal or a person in Asia. Birds and floral subjects are widely popular and depicted very well in Asian art. The style of the artwork is another quick indicator of Asian influence in art. For example, if a painting will have not typically much shadow and it will be minimal in its use of color, the background, if any, will not be meticulously detailed, just a very simple profile. The material used will also indicate the influence of Asia and where it came from. Traditional Asian art carvings, for example, might be made from jade or wood or gold, bamboo, cork, or any other natural materials found in abundance in Asia. Asian paintings are typically created with ink, often on scrolls, sometimes silk, and use naturally pigmented paints as well. There's a lot more to know which indicates which country an art piece is from, the time period, and the tools used to create it. Next time you examine a beautiful piece of art, like some coming up in this auction, try to determine where its influences came from and how it took shape. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you on auction day. Have a great day.